Collinwood, 1897. Barnabas Collins has returned to the past in order to save two lives in the present. One of the secrets he must unravel is a curse that was placed on the life of Quentin Collins. A curse that takes effect when the moon is full and transforms him from a man into a beast with one desire to kill. On this night, the wolf that is Quentin has been captured, and now he is in a jail cell, waiting out a dawn that will expose his secret to the world. Edward Collins speaking. This is the sheriff's office. May I speak to Reverend Trask, please? Well, he's with his daughter at the moment. May I take a message? Well, the sheriff asked me to notify him that the animal has been captured. Captured? Where is it now? Well, we had quite a struggle with him, but we finally got him here to the jail. He's locked up in a cell. I'll be there as soon as I can. Open the door. What can I do for you? I would have thought that even you wouldn't have the arrogance to stay here after your involvement with Barnabas. Let's gypsies do what we got to do. Meaning, of course, that you know where he is and you're still trying to help him. You said that. I said nothing. He must be paying you dearly for your loyalty. Well, it won't do any good. We have him on the run now, and we'll find him just as we did Dirk, Dirk Wilkins. Ah, you're very sure of yourself. Huh? I have every reason to be. I'm fully protected from him as long as I wear this and wheel this. Hmm. It holds six silver bullets. You've got to find Barnabas before you can use it, huh? Well, the other supernatural creature has been found. Barnabas will be next. What other creature? The one that was roaming the woods. Those who have seen it and have lived to tell of it say that it resembles a man. Where did they find this animal? Well, you seem very concerned about it. Perhaps you know as much about it as you do about Barnabas. I don't know nothing. I don't believe you. I don't think that two supernatural creatures appearing simultaneously at Collinwood could be just a coincidence. There must be a connection. You knew about Barnabas, therefore you must know about this wolf man or whatever he is. Told you, I, I don't know nothing. Well, I may know something by morning. What do you mean? I'm sure the word lycanthrope is not foreign to you, is it, Magda? Lycanthrope. A man who is transformed into a wolf when the moon is full. Isn't that what we have here? I don't know. If it is, he will change back into a man at dawn, and I will be there to see who he is. Where is he now? Safe behind the bars in the Collins Court Jail. I, I hope he don't disappoint you in the morning. I hope you won't be around to find out. I want you gone from Collinwood by tomorrow. We plan to stay. I order you to leave. I shall summon the police if necessary. And have the police know that one of the Collins family is a vampire? <laughs> no, Mr. Edward. You got too much family pride. Something you know nothing about. If you want to be angry, be angry at Mr. Trask. 
Mr. Trask? Why? Because he invited us to stay. He hasn't the authority to invite you. He is not the master of Collingwood. Oh, look again, Mr. Edward. I think he is. Well, we <laughs> shall see about that. I will attend to the good reverend when I return from town. You've had a busy night, Magda. Barnabas, Barnabas, much happened. Much usually does when things are left with you. Tell me everything. Well, what are you waiting for? Barnabas, Barnabas, you, you got to forgive me. For what? What did you do? Before, before Quentin went through the transformation, he, he begged me to get the hand to help him. You were forbidden to do that. But he was in such pain, I felt so sorry for him. Magda, tell me what happened after you got it. Nothing. Nothing. It had no effect on him at all. No effect at all? How can you be sure of that? Because he went through the transformation. It didn't stop. And Quentin turned into a werewolf and he ran out into the night and... And what? He was captured by the police. Captured? Yes, I, I tried to stop him, Barnabas, but I all couldn't... All right, he... all right, let me worry about Quentin. He's in a cell at the Collinsport jail. Mr. Edwards has just gone down to see him. There's still time for me to to get there before he does. Where is the hand? It's in the box. So go get it. I want you to put it somewhere before anybody else gets a hold of it. Barnabas, Barnabas, the, the, the box is not where I left it. It's gone. Oh, yes, I put it in that room. I was so worried about But you Quentin. forgot completely about Evan Hanley being in the house. Oh. Now, for your sake, he'd better still be here. And he probably took the hand with him. Barnabas, I'm, I'm sorry. Not half as sorry as you will be if you don't get it back. How can I get it, get it back? You know where he lives. Go get it. But if, if he is in possession of the hand, then, then, then I am helpless. If anyone else is in possession of that hand, we will all be helpless. Now, go to Hanley. I will do what I can to free Quentin. doing this to me, there must be a way of undoing it. There must be an answer somewhere. If we could only speak, I'd wring the answer out of you.
What do you want with me now? I did not expect your recovery to be so quick, you Mr. Hanley. call this a recovery? You got your senses, you function. I'll never be able to function with this face. What do you want? You have no business here. Yes, I do. You got something that don't belong to you. I don't know what you're talking about. The book. You took it from the old house. The book? The hand. Ha! What would I want with that wretched thing? You would want it to change your face back to the way it was before. I don't know where it is. I, I never want to see it again. You're lying, Mr. Henley. Believe what you want. I don't know where it is. You're the only one who could have taken it. But I see. You have been trying to find out about it, <laughs> but without any success. Get out of here! Not until I get what I came for. I told you I don't know where it is. Oh, you can try it forever, Mr. Henley, but unless you know how to use it, you will not have any success. But someone who understands the uses of its power, they could help you. And I suppose that someone would be you. Perhaps. Oh, no, Gypsy. I made the mistake of trusting you once. And this is what you did to me. No, the hand did that to you. It was under your control. No, it is not under anyone's control. You and I have seen it function twice. Once for good and once for evil. It almost had a mind of its own. It did what you wanted it to do, and you wanted this to happen to me. No, you were very greedy. You wanted to use it for your own purposes. It had to stop you. There is only one bargain I will make with you, Gypsy. Restore my face, and I will give you the hand. Oh, then you admit that you have it. Yes, I have it. But you will never see it again, not as long as I stay the way I am. But I cannot help you without the hand. I will keep trying myself until I find the word. You will be wasting your time, Mr. Hanley. Perhaps I will. But if I fail, I will seek you out some night. And I will use these two hands to choke you to death. Now you get out of here and don't ever come back. You will. You will change your mind. You will. And you find out how helpless you are. How did you get in here? Answer me. How did you get in here? <laughs> listen to me. And listen carefully. I will not harm you unless you refuse to cooperate with me. Well, what do you want? Look at me. Look into my eyes. You will remain silent. And you will do exactly what I ask you to do. Do you understand that? Yes. And after I've gone, you will have no memory of my ever having been here. Is that clear? Yes. 
Now give me the keys to the cell in the other room. Now stand by the door. You will wait there until after I leave. officer back there who I am. I have come to see the prisoner. Boniface! Put that pistol away, unless you're willing to kill this man first. And I was right after all. You did know about that creature. Yes. And you've come here to help him escape. But not for the reasons you think. I'm not interested in the reasons. You should be. They have everything to do with the future of the Collins family. How can you talk of the future? You belong to the past. But for a foul bargain you no doubt made with the devil himself, you wouldn't be here now. How little you know about me, Edward. I suspected if my grandmother had lived a day longer, I would know a great deal more about you in a much way, earlier. In a way, I'm sorry that she isn't living now. What a hypocrisy. You killed her so that she couldn't tell me the secret that she carried with her for so long. That's not true. I wish there was some way I could make you understand. There is none, nor is there a way that you can help that creature in there. I intend to stay here and prevent it. You will be sorry, Edward. In one breath, you wish I could understand, and in the next, you threaten me. It is not a threat. It is a fact. Now, I will let this man go if you will put that pistol on the floor. And if I refuse... Don't make me do something that we'll both be sorry for, Edward. What you are will never be a secret again. How long will you be able to lead this fugitive existence? How long before we find your coffin and put you back in the grave where you belong? I'm sure this isn't the last time we will meet each other, Edward. Uh, are you all right? Yes. Who are you? I am Edward Collins. I don't remember you coming in. What do you remember? Well, I... I was sitting here in this chair. I got up to close the door and... I don't remember what happened. I'll try to explain it all to you later. In the meantime, I'm going to stay here with you until dawn. Dawn? Yes. I am very anxious to learn what happens to that creature in the cell. What happens? I don't understand. You will understand all too clearly when the sun rises. But I, I'm not so sure you should be back here. The sheriff... The sheriff doesn't realize what this animal is. creature in the air is a supernatural being. When dawn comes, a transformation will take place, and this animal will change into a man. The question is, what man? We have both failed, Magda. In a few moments, Edward will know Quentin's secret, and there is nothing we can do to prevent it. Nothing. Then, then your mission will have failed. I don't see how it can mean anything else. The events of this era will be changed by, by what Edward discovers. That means that the events of the future will be changed accordingly. Maybe, maybe you should go back to your own time before Edward finds out about Quentin, huh? 
My own time. I hate that word. In every crisis I've ever experienced, time has been my worst enemy. I must go back to the cave. Time is running out. will be up and I will know who you are. 